We're witnessing Darkness Rising, which is a 4,800 square foot haunted attraction. When you start off, it's going to seem kind of empty and abandoned, and as you progress, you're going to start noticing uh, creepy little girls popping up in hallways. We're going to go to a dining room, and there's going to be someone uh, maybe eating some body parts off a table. And then later on, you go through a girl's closet, and you kind of witness this like bright light, and that goes into the more bizarre port part of the uh, haunted house. Compared to other haunted houses, this is probably one of the best ones. I haven't really been to too many to judge it, but this is one of my favorite. It, it, here, it's, it's a, a, very different because, uh, well, number one, we're very claustrophobic. So you'll, as you go through, you'll notice there are some very, very tight areas, very, very dark areas where you can barely see anything. Sometimes you can't see your hand in front of your face. Uh, there's some, actually some very technical scares with drop panels and doors that close and things like that that you don't necessarily see in a lot of haunted houses. We're not necessarily as much about getting people rushed through and making as much money as possible because we're not for profit. So we have two charities. We have uh, Yes Community Counseling Center and we donate half of our money to them. And then we also have the Tom Pender Gas Fund, which is a uh, charity through the fire department, Massapequa Fire Department, uh, that, that helps terminate ill children. So we split the money up completely. All the proceeds, everything gets completely donated to the charity. Uh, I think our haunted house is a lot different than other bigger budget haunted houses. You know, we put a lot of work into it, a lot of detail. And my partner Jim has uh, some really awesome ideas for how to scare people that are really unique and different. So.